Good evening and Merry Christmas and welcome to St. Columbus. We welcome you who are here with us in person and those who are with us on live stream as well. If you're with us on the live stream and would like to get a copy of the bulletin, you can download that from our website, stcolumbaca.com. For those of you with us on the live stream, we will be having drive-through communion from 5.15 to 6.15 following the service, if you would like to come and join us in that way. For those of you who are here, during communion for Christmas only, that's today, we will also have a wine available for you in individual cups, and we thank our friends at Mount Cross for helping us and making those available to us. So at communion, you'll still follow the direction of the ushers, come down the center aisle like normal, receive the bread at the, here in the crossing, and then go to either table, and here, You'll find there are in, will be individual cups with wine. If you would like to receive, you may take one of those cups, drink the wine, and then put your uh, glass in the square basket so we can take care of those. So you, you'll take your bread, come over here, get your wine if you wish, and then put that in the basket. And we'll have folks to help you with that and remind you as we go along. Our service continues now with the introit Jesu Bambino.
And now let us stand as you are able and join in singing our opening hymn, O Come All Ye Faithful, as found printed in your bulletin. Verses 1, 3, 5, and 6. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us.
be with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of your true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. Our first lesson comes from Isaiah. Every imaginable wrong, every smudge and bit of darkness will be completely wiped away by God's gentle, cleansing hand. Listen now for the word of God. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Our psalm reading today is portion of Psalm 98, as found in your bulletin. Let us read it together. Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done the Lord with his right hand and his holy arm, as he won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has been openly shown in the light of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all your hands. Lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord for the heart, for the heart of the voice of song. Our second lesson comes from Titus. God in Jesus Christ enables our free will and makes our transformation possible. Grace, compassion, kindness, all the fruits of the Spirit are birthed in us through God's work. Listen now for the word of God. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. 
Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quinarius was governor of Syria all went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen 
as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be seated. My dear, Drive carefully. It's starting to snow. Be careful. You know things can get slick out there. Well, they're gone. The family is off to the Christmas Eve service, and here I am all alone with the house to myself. As they were getting ready to go to church, my wife asked me if I was going to go with them, but I had to tell her no. You see, I just don't get all this about Christmas. I don't understand it. Oh, I get all the celebrating and the being together and the presents and all that. I mean, I'm no Scrooge. I'm a decent guy. I I'm pretty generous, too, even if I say so myself. And you can ask anyone. They'll tell you I'm as honest as the day is long and always treat people fairly. It's just this stuff that churches proclaim at Christmas about an incarnation, about God becoming human. I just don't get it. It's, it's too impossible to believe. Why would God even want to do such a thing? Anyway, I'd feel like a hypocrite if I went to church with him. I'd just spend the whole time sitting there being miserable. So I told her I'd much rather stay home alone, but that I'd wait up for them. I know she's not very happy with me, but I'll make it up to her tomorrow. Wow. It's really coming down out there now. Well, I guess if we have to have Christmas, it's nice to have a white one. 
All alone with the house to myself for an hour or more. What am I going to do? I know. I'll just sit here and relax and read the paper. Sit here by the fire and relax. Must have been nothing. There it was again. Is that neighbor kid throwing snowballs at the window again? I told him if he broke the window, he's going to pay for it. That's it. I'm just going to give him a piece of my mind.
And now let us affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed as found printed in your bulletin. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. Holy and lowly one, Jesus, friend and brother, we rejoice in your coming among us. You come down to lift us up. You come as the light to our darkness. We welcome and adore you. We pray for your church throughout the world. May we reveal your saving power and abide in your love. We pray for the work of the church among the poor and the outcasts of our world. Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. Prince of Peace, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for peace in the Holy Land, for peace among nations and goodwill throughout the world, for the communities in which, to which we belong and the places where we work, that they may know your presence and your peace. Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. Lord, born at Bethlehem, we pray for our families, for all with whom we will share this Christmas time. We rejoice in their love and your love for all, us all. We remember absent friends and loved ones, all who will be alone this Christmas time. Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. At this time of joy and rejoicing, we remember all who are sad, all whose lives are full of sorrow, fear, or darkness. We pray for all who are in nursing homes or rehabilitation centers, in the hospital or in hospice. We remember those who have no home and will sleep roughly this night. We pray especially for friends and loved ones who are ill. Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. We rejoice with all who have entered into the fullness of your presence, all who are at peace in your kingdom. We pray for friends and loved ones departed. Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. We pray for the church, for our bishops, Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, and John, our diocesan bishop. 
We pray for St. Columbus, the Threshold Project, our Children's Learning Center, our Project Hope Food Ministries, and our clergy and staff. We pray for those with immediate needs, especially Marty, Pauline, Steve, Doug, Marjorie, Sue, Jeff, Grace, Frank, Jacob, Stephanie, Keith, Sylvia, Stan, Beth, Jenny, Alex, Jerry, Jennifer, Richard, Sue, Candace, Danielle, Robin, Nancy, Ron, Marlene, Jen, Josette, Melissa, Bruce, Terry, John, Gail, Sylvia, Vicki, Kylie, Jerry, Gail, Jackie, Marilyn, Sandy, Maggie, Nazar, Sandy, Denise, Robbie, Bill, Richard, Dick, Lisa, Savannah, and Mona. And we pray for those who need our continuing prayers whose names are found in the bulletin. We pray for those who are traveling, especially John and Bev Pearson. We give thanks for all members of our St. Columbus Parish family. We pray for the world, for all who are suffering or who have died because of the coronavirus pandemic, for all victims of violence and to turn the hearts of those who would do harm, for all who have suffered because of the sin of racism and oppression, for those affected by natural disasters, especially wildfire, wildfires, tornadoes, and floods, for peace in the Middle East and all troubled areas of the world, for all those serving at home and abroad, but especially for Liam, Simon, Matthew, Matt, Nathan, Jonah, David, Noah, Garrett, to London, and Marty. Please add your own intercessions and thanksgivings silently or aloud in full confidence that God will hear and respond. Almighty Father, we rejoice in the coming of Christ our Lord. We pray that as he has taken on our humanity through your grace and goodness, we may share in your divinity and so partake in the radiance of your glory through him who came down for us and is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray together the welcoming prayer. Holy Spirit, living within us, guide our hearts and minds as we welcome today all those who worship with us at St. Columbus. Give us discerning hearts so that everyone who crosses our threshold feels welcome in the warmth of your love. Help us to perceive their needs and give us wisdom to respond, knowing each person crossing our threshold is sent by you to enrich our lives. Most of all, O oh God, let this be a place where all your children are embraced and accepted. In the name of the child you sent to be our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now may the peace of the Lord be always with you. Please greet one another gently in the name of the Lord. And now let us with gladness present the offerings and oblations of our life and labor unto the Lord as we sing together our offertory hymn, Good Christian Friends Rejoice.
We continue with the Eucharistic prayer as found printed in your bulletin. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ your only Son to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O oh Father, we remember his death we proclaim his resurrection. We await his coming in glory. 
and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with Mary and Joseph, the shepherds and angels, Columba and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters, through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him, and with him, and in him, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. join with those who are not able to be with us tonight in the prayer of spiritual communion from the Armed Forces Prayer Book. In union, O Lord, with your faithful people at every altar of your church, where the Holy Eucharist is now being celebrated, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I remember your death, Lord Christ. I proclaim your resurrection. I await your coming in glory. And since I cannot receive you today in the sacrament of your body and blood, I beseech you to come spiritually into my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Jesus, and let me never be separated from you. May I live in you and you in me in this life and in the life to come. Amen. As Mary's body was given for Jesus, so Jesus' body is given for us. Here the Word made flesh comes to us, cradled in bread and in wine.
if you need more.
The post-communion prayer is found printed in your bulletin. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. the light of the Christmas star to you, the warmth of home and hearth to you, 
the cheer and goodwill of friends to you, the hope of a childlike heart to you, the joy of a thousand angels to you, the love of the sun and God's peace to you, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Now let us sing together our closing hymn, Joy to the World. seeking to live Christ's love in a caring and inclusive community. 